Hey everyone, Jared Sandler here with a little update from Surprise. Going to be doing this a few times throughout spring training. We'll ask uh, on Twitter for people to send in some Rangers questions, and we'll just take the first three or four uh, so we can do some quick hit uh, video Q and A. So the first question comes from Peter: Will Rocker or Lighter make it to the big leagues first? I think as long as they both are on a starting pitching track, uh, my guess is it's going to be Lighter. Uh, although. I, I don't know that Vegas would have him as the overwhelming favorite. You know, I guess in, in some respects, you can say that Rocker might be ahead of him. It's tough to say just because Rocker hasn't pitched yet, uh, you know, in, in, in professional baseball outside of the fall league. Uh, Rocker will likely, if I had a guess, will start at high A, whereas Leiter will start at double A. But that doesn't mean that Leiter will forever, you know, stay ahead of him. It, the only thing that could change that is if, the Rangers made a determination at some point that they could really benefit from Kumar Rocker uh, as a relief option, even if it's not permanently, you know, maybe it's a temporary thing, much like, you know, the example I always like to use David Price with the Rays, uh, you know, more than a decade ago, obviously, uh, you know, they brought him up for a stretch run as a reliever and then got him back into a, a starter's routine and obviously went on and had a, a long career as a starter. So I don't foresee the Rangers doing that sort of thing with Jack Leiter. I don't think it would make as much sense just because of the makeup and, and the stuff. But I think with Kamar Rocker and his slider, it's something that I wouldn't, you know, say is out of the, you know, out of the realm of possibility, but if they both just stay strictly on a starting pitching track, my guess is it's lighter, but again, uh, if this was, you know, a question in Vegas, lighter would just, you know, barely be the favorite. Uh, question here from Zach: Could the Rangers have a top ten lineup? Yeah, absolutely, think they could have a top ten lineup. Uh, some of the uh, the things that, you know, I, I think stand out to me about this lineup: the top four or five, uh, you know, have, have a chance to be really dangerous. You know, if Mitch Garver can stay healthy. You got a top five in some combination of Simeon, Seeger, Lowe, Garcia, and Garver. That's really impressive. Uh, but what about the next four? You know, can the Rangers maintain some level of lineup depth uh, to really, uh, you know, put consistent pressure on opposing teams and opposing staffs? And so for me, because of that, I think Josh Young is super important to this team. Uh, and, you know, how quickly can he make adjustments and, uh, you know, be a, a viable threat? Uh, you know, at the plate. And, and maybe a guy like Robbie Grossman can can take some of that pressure off of Josh Young, because if Robbie Grossman ends up returning to form from a couple years ago and is a big on base guy, maybe, you know, maybe that's what the Rangers need. But they need someone in the bottom half of their lineup to really step up. Uh, and, you know, again, I I, I don't want to rule out the possibility that maybe this is the year Laody Tavares, you know, really takes a big step forward offensively. Remember, he's just 23 years old. So uh, there are a lot of, you know, if they type guys in the back half of their lineup, uh, but they need one or maybe two of those guys to, to really complete that sentence in a positive way. Uh, Jimmy's asking a question that, you know, we, we just kind of briefly touched on with uh, Kamar Rocker. Will Kamar Rocker make the team as a bullpen option? No, he will not make the team out of camp as a bullpen option. Uh, the Rangers want to give him, you know, opportunities to continue to grow as a starter. Again, could they temporarily make him a reliever down the stretch? I, I don't think it's likely, but depending on how things unfold this year, I guess it's a possibility. Uh, but again, I, I don't even think that would be a likelihood here for this year. Uh, and then uh, I think those are, do we have one other question? How's DeGrom looking from Chewy? Uh, he looks fine so far. He's thrown two bullpens. He likely will throw one or two more, and then we'll we'll see him in a game, hopefully sometime in the next week. Uh, so, you know, that's, it seems like things are moving forward there with the Grom, uh, and then Clayton asked what my expectations are for the team this year. Will they make the playoffs? I, I, I take a cue from Eric Nadell who doesn't make predictions because, you know, what is it, you know, we can't look into the crystal ball and it, it I don't know, doesn't, uh, it, it, it's always tough to do in a 162 game season. What I'll tell you, Clayton is I, I fully expect that this team is competing for a playoff spot in September, whether they make the playoffs or not. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. Um, but I think if anything short of competing for a playoff spot in September would be considered a, a disappointment. Uh, Chris wants to know, does an e Ezekiel Duran trade to the Dodgers make sense with, with Gavin Lux going down? I mean, I, I don't know. I, I think what would make more sense of the Dodgers is going out and signing someone, maybe like a jerks and pro far or something. I, I, I don't know that the Dodgers would want to trade for Ezekiel Duran, uh, it doesn't make sense on their end if they want an immediate option because I don't know that 
uh, Ezekiel Duran is is ready to be, you know, a contributor at that level as an everyday player from a hitting standpoint. Uh, you know, certainly there are, there are guys who are more proven, even if they don't have the upside, guys who are more proven. Uh, and then from the Rangers standpoint, the Dodgers aren't going to give away major league talent, you know, certainly not going to give anyone away of the, the value that would be required uh, to justify parting ways with Ezekiel Duran. So I, I don't know that that necessarily makes sense uh, uh, for the Rangers and Dodgers to match up on that, but I like where your head's at, you know, creative thinking. Uh, I just don't know if, if that's one where, where things really line up. Appreciate the questions. Uh, we'll do this more throughout spring. Take care. Have a great day.